Okay, today I received my OtterBox uh, Defender case for my uh, iPhone 4. And what I was going to do is uh, show you the disassembly and the reassembly of it around the uh, iPhone 4. And we'll test out its functionality and I'll do a quick review on it. Uh, so this is the, the case. I got the white one with the uh, black uh, trim. Uh, you'll see advertised uh, all over the place the black one with black trim, blue with, with black trim. Uh, the, the, it seems like that the only thing that doesn't vary is the uh, the main case piece, which is this uh, the shell that it actually slip, clips into. But what varies is the uh, the blue or, or white or black uh, silicone skin and hard shell case that fits together. It's really a, a nice case, fits together nicely, snaps into place, makes your phone really nice and secure. Also has a, a swivel type clip so that you can swivel it at just about any position. Kind of noisy. But uh, a really handy uh, case also has uh, plugs that cover certain uh, things. Uh, so if you have your headphones plugged in, for example, uh, you're not going to be uh, able to get water into the thing real easily. So it protects the, uh, the cell phone quite well. Uh, they do actually. They did actually think about the fact that some of us do put uh, our cell phone on speakerphone. They do have the speakers uh, uh, cutouts for the speaker. However, the port where you do your charging, your syncing, well, that uh, that's covered. Uh, so, really nice case uh, so far. Uh, one other feature that I did notice about it that I kind of liked was the fact that you've got a, a little lock on both sides. So, if you want to face the phone in or out, it's your choice. Um, my choice is to face it in for obvious reasons. If you face it in, uh, chances of somebody damaging the face of your iPhone are a little harder. Okay, they're going to they might bump into the back or might bust this up here, but uh, less likely to damage it. Um, one other feature that's really good ab about this case is you'll notice it has a plastic uh, cover, which basically sits on top of your iPhone, and that way you can uh, still use your touch screen very easily. You don't have to take it out of the case, uh, and it's well protected. So we'll see how well this thing disassembles in just a moment, and hopefully it'll work real well. Don't know. I've seen people do it on a couple of videos, and it looked like that they were struggling with it. We'll see how I do. I'm a person that is a computer tech, among other things. We'll see how well I do. Uh, wish me luck, and we'll see what happens here. Okay. I have my microfiber cloth. I have my iPhone. I have my OtterBox case ready to, to do the assembly. Got my glasses. Now, what I, one thing I, I did with this uh, this iPhone is right after I got it, I put on one of these plastic covers. Now, the nice thing is that the little plastic uh, screen that's on here um, will actually uh, be replaced by this screen right here. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to have to do is peel that off. I also left the original plastic that was on the back of the iPhone when I bought it. I cut that off, so it will have to be removed as well. So I'll have to peel this off, set it, Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wipe down the iPhone. Make sure you clean around the camera uh, and also uh, clean on the other side and clean around the camera and your flash. Get everything clean nicely. Then we're going to set the iPhone down. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and disassemble the otter case. So we'll pull out the otter case. We'll Push that down. Pull this off very carefully. You always want to be real careful because there's these thin spots on here can easily uh, get torn. Very carefully pull that apart. Let's hang in there a little bit. There. Set it off to the side. And you've got three latches one, two, three, and then a couple of clips on the bottom. First thing we're going to do is release the latches. And once you get the latch released, you come around and do the ones on the other sides, on the sides here, very carefully. And, oh, relatched it. There, there. And then this right there. That way you pull this apart. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that I got some fingerprints on the on this one. I was messing with it. That's okay. We're going to fix that. No, no problem. Uh, one nice thing about the outer case is on the back, you have this felt. Uh, so that the back side of your iPhone uh, is nice and protected. 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean off the lens on the otter case, make sure the otter defender is clean, and then we're going to make sure that our back of our iPhone again is clean. Make sure you get the camera. Very carefully set it in there. Okay, it's in place. Next thing we're going to do is knock off any spots where I messed that up. And what we're, we're going to do is we're going to clean the inside of the data defender case. Uh, the idea here is, and you also have plastic up here for your uh, camera and all that other stuff, so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and clean that off as well. Uh, I'm going to clean this real quick again. Make sure that we're clean there and clean here. Okay, so now we've got that. We're going to very carefully put it together. You're going to notice that this piece has a little uh, cavity here and it fits right around, if you look on the back of your iPhone, it fits right around that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slip these together, snap them in place, make sure you get all three points snapped in. Okay, it's like I did smudge it a little, and we should make sure that's a smudge from the outside, not the inside. Looks like I got it. Looks like I got a little piece of uh, fiber in there somehow. So in this case, I'm going to go back Re, you know, another part. It may take you a couple of times, but think about this. I mean, it's something that you're going to do once every so often. And uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it apart and clean that up. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and show. Pull that up. Pull these loose. And we're going to very carefully pull the iPhone back out. But, um, now I saw a piece of lint over here, and there it is right there. It's a little tiny piece of lint. Now there's a tiny piece of lint there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and push it down. Actually, I don't think that's lint. I think it's actually uh, some of the adhesive that they use for the hold it in place. And it looks like I've got a clear. So I'm going to go ahead and go around here, go back to the iPhone, make sure I got it clean, and slide two parts together, latch one, two, three. All three latches, one, two, three are done. <coughs> now, I'm going to put the silicone case on. You want to be very careful with the silicone case of these small spots where, it, where it's real thin because you can tear it. Okay, so. Very carefully slide this in and slip it over. And rubber skin on there, slide the thing in. Over the tab, slide it in. Okay, to any place it has to fit. Okay, over the tab, slide it in. Audio done this whole thing because they're gabbing out there. Okay, there we go. That's down in there. Okay, so there, there. Make sure this is down in here where it's supposed to be. Crooked spot there. Again, press in the silicone. It's a perfect fit. It's designed to be a perfect fit. And there we go. Now, looks like we're done there. Press the power to see if we come up. Looks like we're good. Come up. Okay, so we're in good shape. We have buttons and everything. Should work. Okay, we'll go ahead and Put it back in there, nice and pretty. And that's how you do the box on the iPhone.